Hey guys, welcome back for another Trick Tip Tuesday. And don't forget to send us your ideas for your trick tips to tips at tricktools.com. And we'll see if we can get these in these videos. So uh, today's tip, I'm gonna talk about some shot bag usage. So uh, if you're new to metal shaping and uh, maybe you don't uh, fully grasp the concept of how to use a shot bag or maybe what its uh, purposes are, um, we'll hopefully uh, give you some more information on that. So. Uh, essentially with a shot bag, it's, it's, a, it's a crude and rough way to initially start getting some shape in a panel to then be able to do your fine tuned metal shaping after that. So uh, there's different ways you can use it, um, you know, depending on maybe how hard you're hitting into it, that sort of thing. So uh, to show you guys some example, uh, I've got a little piece of aluminum. It's probably, I don't know, seven inches by seven inches, maybe eight by eight, anyway. So, <clears throat> um, so this is our ProLine shaping station, but with these uh, mallets that we have available, um, they all have different uh, radiuses on them. So this is our bigger radius one. Uh, we kind of have a medium and then one that's got a tighter radius. But uh, so some of that can vary maybe based on how much shape you're trying to put into a panel, um, you know, how much dome, how much, uh, you know, curve you're looking for. But some of using a shot bag uh, is going to depend, uh, you know, the shape you get in your part is going to depend on how hard you're hitting too. So, you know, because I mean, if you're just lightly hitting the metal, you get a little bit of distortion out of it. You know, it starts to curve the metal just a little bit. Whereas if you move to another corner and you really hit into that, obviously you're doing a lot more uh, work in the part. So, um, the shot bag, like I said, is kind of just the rough way of starting your shape in a part. So, you know, if you want to get a gentle curve in this whole part, you know, and you you can tap it into the shot bag lightly to start creating some curve. Now let's say from that point, you jump over on a shrink or stretcher, do a little bit of shrinking around the edge just to continue to create the, uh, the dome in your part. Not doing a ton of pressure on this, just enough to create a little bit of shrink. So go around all the corners. Uh, now let's say from there, you come over to the English wheel and using just a little bit of pressure, not a lot. And it's kind of rough when you're running it through the first time, obviously, because you're running over all the little bumps that you just made using your hammer. I'm gonna run over this high spot where I hammered pretty hard. Um, you know, but it, all it takes is a few passes, real short, to start getting a nice smooth uh, finish on your panel. So, like I said, the shop bag is just giving you the ability to get some of that shape started in your part. That way, when you start the wheeling, uh, you're not starting with a flat part, having to really stretch the metal a ton in the English wheel or a planishing hammer or whatever your source is on that. So. Um, but even from there, if you're like, okay, well, that's a good start, but I wanted it more. You come back over to your shot bag. Now I was hitting that a lot harder this time than I was the last time. So you are getting a lot more shape in the panel. Um, part of hammering in a shot bag, you can use different techniques to create uh, uh, different initial shapes in your part. Um, you know, say on this, and then at this point, like jump back over on the English wheel. Couple passes, turn it, go the other direction. Let's say we got a little bit of um, kind of a wave going on in the edge of the panel. 
and it's because we've uh, taken the part and really forced it into uh, its own um, curve there, but we've got some extra material on the edge, so you then jump over on a shrinker stretcher, and using the shrinking jaws, Like I said before, not a ton of pressure, just enough to start tightening up that shape. Run around all four edges. And you can see, obviously this is still a little bit rough, but you can see how quickly you can really start um, putting some compound curve in a part. And this works the same on steel. So that was, uh, 063 aluminum. This is 19 gauge uh, steel. So now right there, I just tried to hammer right towards this edge. So you can see it's folding up the metal here um, because there's, it's not, uh, it's not really stretching the metal in a way where it's going to keep the edge flat and it's stretching everything in the middle. It's more just moving because the shot bag gives, it's moving the metal, uh, you know, it's forcing the metal down here, but the extra on the edge has to go somewhere. So it's creating that, that ripple effect on the edge, but that's where a combination of a shot bag, a shrinker stretcher, an English wheel comes in handy. So from there you can jump over on shrinker stretcher. run back and forth a handful of times on that edge. So now all that excess that was folded up and pretty weird looking has now kind of smoothed out on the edge, but we're getting a lot of curve here uh, in both ways. So just for a little bit more explanation, you run over on the shrinker stretcher again. I'm running on the opposite edge just to tighten up this opposite edge a little bit. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now, jump over on the English wheel. Put a little more pressure on this because we're working on steel. starting to smooth that panel out there. So uh, with this, you can easily see how, you know, using just a couple of basic machines, I mean, an English wheel, as far as metal shaping is about as basic as it gets. It's all a lot about technique, but when you use something like a shop bag to start getting your shape started in a part, you can see how easily uh, and quickly you can start to create some uh, unique compound shapes uh, in a part, um, depending, you know, obviously, whatever you're working on. You can start getting something uh, shaped in pretty quickly using just a couple of more basic uh, machines. So uh, hopefully this explanation on some shop bag usage uh, mixed with a couple of other uh, basic machines, uh, how this can really up your sheet metal shaping game and get you started on making your own compound shapes in your shop. So thanks for watching this week's Trick Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.